Hello, everyone. Welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for the collective for your Thursday, November 14th, 2019. Please keep in mind that just because this is dated for the 14th of November, it doesn't have to mean that it has to resonate at that time. Okay, so this is for those of you that aren't don't um, watch you know, regularly, or if you're new to the morning coffee series or whatnot, and you know, you're, you're, you're watching videos from the past, or you're just catching up, blah, 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 whatnot, whatever. Whenever you are guided to watch this reading is means that it is the message for you at that time, if it resonates for you. Okay. If it doesn't resonate for you, don't worry about it. It's, it's a general message. So it's not going to resonate with everybody. Okay. Um, so keep that in mind. <clears throat> Time is an illusion and energies are fluid and these readings are meant to be timeless, okay? Um, yeah, I hope everyone has had a good week so far. Um, we're almost at the end of our week here. Uh, keep in mind, guys, that on Saturday, I'm going to be doing a live session of unboxing these beautiful gifts that you guys are sending for the channel. I can't wait. That's going to happen around, uh, I wanna say 3 p.m on this Saturday, which is the 16th. Yes, Saturday the 16th, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So that gives people like in Central Time and Pacific Time, you know, you can get in there. Um, by then it would be like noon Pacific. So that shouldn't be so bad, okay? And also if you don't make it to the live, you can always watch it later. It'll be up there forever, yeah. Um, also, I, I have, if you haven't seen it yet, I did post a, um, a community tab post with all of the decks that I have, car, the, the card decks that I have, both Tarot and Oracle. So if you were interested in sending a deck to be used on the channel, make sure that you um, check out, sorry, I'm adjusting my light here. Make sure that you check out that post because it has all the list of everything that I already have. So to make sure that you're not sending a repeat. Um, someone did ask, I believe it was Danielle Love, asked if uh, if I got a repeat deck, would I be willing to gift it out? I, yeah, that would be great. Um, I would want to figure out some like contest or some sort of poll or something like that to, you know, to do a winner. But that might be cool. Let's let's explore that. All right, guys. So um, let's get into the the reading here. So the energies. Um, it's interesting because I've been lately. I've been in this energy of not necessarily wanting to really work or do pre shuffle. Uh, I just want to like get into like start the video and just shuffle on camera and get into the reading for you guys. But uh, there's still something that came out that is feels pretty relevant. So I'm gonna I want to share it with you guys in case you know it does resonate with anyone. But the first card that came out in your pre shuffle is the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, someone is slowly but surely moving towards you. All right, and then the Queen of Wands came out. So it really feels like this is for those feminines out there or just anyone that is balanced between your masculine and your feminine energy um, from the feminine point of view though it really feels like someone is very much in tune with themselves focused on themselves focused on what it is they truly want and staying in that energy of being within the law of attraction or working with the law of attraction staying in your vibration to 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 manifest someone or something to come in some sort of offer to come in potentially this also could be career oriented so either this knight of pentacles could be someone that is slowly making their way towards you or this is you slowly making your way forward in some sort of new plan okay the overall energy is the four of cups but then on the other side is the i'm sorry the the wheel of fortune but it's the side of the Wheel of Fortune that has the Magician here. So I really feel like someone someone is manifesting a new relationship or a new opportunity. This really could be a job opportunity um, I because I, I heard that specifically just now. But someone is manifesting something new, okay, with the Wheel of Fortune. Again, you're working directly with the universe in tandem with the Law of Attraction. You're using these principles to your advantage, okay? The magician with this wheel of fortune to manifest something new 
despite any sort of rejection you may have faced in the past. So if this has to do with, um, well, I'll say this first. Oh, well, okay, let me say this first. Um, so this absolutely could be manifesting a new relationship. Absolutely, regardless of whatever uh, um, 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 rejection you may have faced in the past. For those of us that are that resonate with the twin flame journey, that is very prominent right now in within the collective. You know, it's like, well, all right, fine, whatever. You rejected me, or this, that, and the other thing happened, and but you know what? I've grown. I've come out much stronger. I'm much better. I'm a much different person than I was in the past. So I'm just gonna take what I've learned and I'm gonna move forward in spite of the fact that. I faced this terrible, terrible rejection from someone that I felt this ridiculously strong connection with. Okay, awesome. For those of you that are dealing with this on a career front, this absolutely is, and this almost feels like maybe even going into business for yourself, some sort of entrepreneurship situation where, you know, you've been working tirelessly in in doing mundane work or being a part of the workforce or having a regular nine to five job and for some of you specifically i'm picking up that you might have been on a job hunt and you just kept getting rejected 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 until finally you were just like you know what i'm gonna go into business for myself screw all y'all i'm gonna create the <laughs> i'm gonna create the opportunity that i want for myself i'm not gonna wait for someone to to hand me that offer or hand me that position or i'm not gonna work my ass off and sell my soul to work my way up to a position that would be desirable honestly only to find out once you get there that it's not the position that you really thought it was or that you really even wanted mm -hmm. so instead someone is creating their own someone is taking the matter into their own hands and creating something for themselves and then the other thing that i want to show you right underneath that four of cups is the ten of pentacles okay so this could be um manifesting a family for sure this could be someone that's really trying to manifest the ultimate wish fulfillment regardless of really who it comes from because especially with this queen of wands energy here this is you knowing exactly what it is that you want and and and, and working with the universe allowing the universe to bring that to you in whatever way is best right because ultimately you want this you want stability, you want security, you want family, you want love, you want friendship, you want a nice house, you want you want, you know, a nice place to live. You want all that material stuff, but you also want the value that comes with having a family. This 10 of pentacles also translates into a career, okay? So either way, the whatever it is, whatever it is you're manifesting, either way, you're in it for the long haul. That's what I just heard, but um, you are taking matters into your own hands and you are allowing the universe to work alongside you. You're, you're, you've set your own vibration and you're staying steady within that vibration and now the universe is comp conspiring with you to bring forward what it is you desire, all right? Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna give this one shuffle and then we'll get into the rest of the reading here, yeah? Okay, here we go. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for our Thursday, November 14th. 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. You know what's funny, you guys? I just, <clears throat> I, I noticed this before, but I didn't think to sit. Oh, that was my stomach. I don't know if you heard that. My tummy is a little empty. There's a rumbly in my tumbly, y'all. Um, but <laughs> the color for the collective right now is yellow. So we've progressed, actually, because before, if you remember, the color was orange for a while, where we were really in our emotions, we were feeling through things, we were purging some things, we were doing a hell of a lot of healing, and then the color became brown because we needed to 
ground ourselves we were or we were grounding ourselves we were grounding our emotions we were grounding the new state of emotional awareness that we came to sorry my oat my uh my i just noticed these ashes here that are a little sage ashes everywhere sorry but then but now now the color is yellow Okay, so we've gone from our solar plexus, I'm sorry, from our sacral chakra to our solar plexus. This is your willpower, okay? <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me, there is really, there's action being put into place. Or, excuse me, action being taken here. I love it, putting the plan into action. I'm going to give this three shuffles. And then we will see what we've got for today. Last one for the collective. So, what do you want us to discuss with us today? What spirit, what do we need? What do we need to talk about today? What's going on with the collective here? Oop, there we've got a card already, okay. Eyes are closed, so I don't know what that card is yet. Oop, there's some more, all right. Oh, and more. We're just gonna do one more, ooh, okay. One more shuffle. Just one more skis. One more skis. There. Oof. Wow. Okay. Seems to be a lot going out here. Ooh. Let this one fall out. Okay. Okay. Overall energy, we have the Ace of Pentacles with good old Knight of Cups underneath the deck. All right. Um, seven of wands is upright. Okay. Oh, there's the knight of pentacles again. Okay. High priestess, four of pentacles, the hanged man, the eight of cups. We also have the three of pentacles, the page of pentacles, and the seven of wands here. <clears throat> Very interesting. Interesting. So we have two knights. We have the Knight of Cups and we have the Knight of Pentacles. What I feel like here, and Spirit is saying this is a masculine energy. Well, they said they said masculine energy. Um, so this could either be an individual who is more on the masculine side, who resonates more with the masculine energy, or this is someone that is just working, taking action, has balanced their masculine energy and is working is taking action through it, okay? We have the High Priestess, the Knight of Pentacles with the Four of Pentacles, and then we also have the Hanged Man and the Eight of Cups. So what I feel like is happening here with this is you or maybe someone that you're connected to um, is changing their perspective on something that has been long-standing quite a bit. Um, there's a higher wisdom there's higher wisdom that's taking place here or that's settling in for someone with this high priestess energy which is allowing them to reanalyze something that may no longer be serving them eight of cups four of pentacles the hanged man okay the hanged man is and it's this side of the hanged man where we have the two individuals that were indoctrinated by the hierophant that have now reached the hanged man and they're like whoa wait a second there is another way to look at this Oh, I like to say with this side of the card, this is that moment where someone starts to become a free thinker. Someone starts to think for themselves. Someone starts to change their perspective on behalf of something, at least in this circumstance, on behalf of something that, be, that might be much more fulfilling for them. Eight of Cups. It's like you're almost going back to your childhood, things that you may have learned in your, as a child, ways that you may have been indoctrinated as a child, <clears throat> habits. Or, 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 or belief systems that were adopted or, or, or established either as a child or earlier in life. And you're reanalyzing that. You're like, well, wait a second. Is this really what is going to make me happy? Is there something else that could make me happy here? Is there another way of expressing myself? Is there another way of doing things? Is there, you, you know, is, I mean, this, this almost, this, especially with the, higher wisdom, higher understanding, higher knowledge that you've gained from the universe that you've been able to cultivate throughout your journey here, throughout the process. 
it's interesting because I feel that came out in another reading. Was it was it morning coffee yesterday? There, that is that. There's some theme of that going on here. Okay, which is, which is really cool. On the other side of the of the, the table here, we have the three of pentacles, the page of pentacles, and the seven of wands. I feel like, well, actually, you know what? Telling a story as if we were reading a book, right? It starts here with this person changing their perspective somehow to moving here, being in an energy of being willing and ready to build something together. Okay, you're going from the Four of Pentacles to the Three of Pentacles. So what you had established before in the Four of Pentacles is changing. You're removing one of those Pentacles. Okay, that's leaving you with three, sure. But now you're, it's like you're ready to start over and build a new foundation with someone. This either could be, this definitely could be financially or career-wise. It also could be romantically here, all right? You have... The page that's holding that fourth pentacle it's like you're it's like someone someone is ready to to start over to build something new to make some sort of new commitment to make some sort of new offer um uh and i don't feel like it, this it, it okay it's not coming out as as a as a knight i'm sorry it's not coming out as like a king or a queen but that does that does not mean that this person is not of that status it's, this is just a matter of starting something new, starting something fresh. Seven of Wands being ha um, having strong boundaries. And I feel like this Seven of Wands is strong boundaries against any sort of opposition, um, any sort of past circumstances or people from your past that may want to stop you or question you in this new change in direction or this new whatever new you're working on here ace of pentacles knight of cups okay as your overall energy so this definitely this definitely could have romantic connotations definitely with that knight of cups but also it could be something that is new and passionately emotionally fulfilling in some way also though with this knight of cups being seen might be connecting with someone that may already be able to pick up on those energies that you're feeling also that other person might be feeling them too um, but neither of you may have really spoken about it. That has been kind of a little bit of a common theme lately where, you know, there are some connections happening. What's underneath the Ace of Pentacles? Ooh, the Five of Swords. We don't, yeah. Oh, well, there's that against all odds energy again. Mm. That would be the opposition. This Five of Swords is underneath the Ace of Pentacles. That would be the opposition that someone is defending themselves against. But um, there has been a common theme lately within the collective of, individuals connecting with each other and kind of connecting on a, a little bit of a romantic level um, but not really having t spoken to about it not really having fully conveyed their feelings or you know whatnot whatever um, but yeah that's really interesting if you guys haven't had a chance to do so yet I would highly recommend that you check out the um, the, the Instagram live reading that I did last night as our pregame, as our happy hour pregame show, um, it was a collective reading, and it really said it stated that somebody, mostly a masculine individual or someone that is more in more masculine in nature, or they're 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 they've balanced their masculine and feminine, and now they're taking action on what their heart's desire is, um, or at least they're ready to. It was very much an against all odds energy with that five of swords being knowing that there's opposition or knowing that there are people that would fight you or try and stop you, but not letting that stop you. Okay. So if you haven't checked out that reading, you're kind of resonating with this here, then I would say absolutely um, check that out because that might that might resonate with you. Yeah. All right, let's get into some clarification here. And what I really want to clarify is this. 
right here. The Three of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles, and the Seven of Wands. Yeah, I'm going to use the Crystal Visions Tarot. I want to get a little bit of clarity because I feel like what I want to say in terms of these three cards here is what action is about to be taken? What action is someone planning on? What action is desired here in this energetic state right here? Three of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, Seven of Wands. What action is desired to be taken? The Eight of Wands. All right. Well, communication, moving forward, um, this could actually be moving in some way with the Nine of Pentacles. Ooh. So communication is key right now. Communicating as much as possible, which makes sense because if you're working on pl building something with somebody or you want to build something with some, this really does have some sort of romantic connotations here because look i just i just noticed for some of you this does have to do with romance because look there's that ro look at that rose down there it's like a love offer wants to be made somebody wants to build a life with somebody somebody wants somebody wants to have a family somebody wants to build a foundation somebody is finally in the place nine of pentacles the st stable, steady, sturdy place of individuality, autonomy, sovereignty. Like you really come into your own, your own sense of self. You know what it is that you want. And there's potential out there to find it in some pretty unconventional ways. Right now, what's necessary or what's desired is communication. Talk about your plans. Talk about what it is you want out of life. Talk about what it is you want in a family, in a relationship, in a business partner, in a business. The Three of Pentacles is also an entrepreneurial ship card. So for those of you that are looking to make, start some sort of business here, I feel like the air is clear. The air is clear for you to get the ball rolling, to start communicating, to start finding partners, to start finding business opportunities, to flesh out your plans, to, to, to do some sort of travel maybe. I wanna get a little bit more on this. Wow. Wow. Oh man. Look, damn y'all. So, wow. Okay, see, and now we have the Three of Cups. The Three of Cups is a union card, all right? Um, and this is something that I was picking up on, but I didn't really say it. But now that that Three of Cups has come out, I'm going to say it. But let's talk about the cards, the rest of the cards that fell out first. You have the Ten of Swords, the Three of Swords, and the Five of Swords. But the Five of Swords is in reverse. Beautiful. So, and actually, actually, this is directly related to what's going on, what I was picking up with what the Three of Cups is representing. But then you also have the Nine of Cups, which is wish fulfillment um, and satisfaction, okay? So <clears throat> what I was picking up on, um, at least romantically, is it kind of feels like there are individuals within the Twin Flame Collective or people that have resonated with the Twin Flame Collective <clears throat> that are finding each other and that are coming together and are starting to feel romantic, starting to like develop romantic feelings for each other. Um, but see, it's not, that's not a bad thing at all. And <laughs> it's funny because that kind of, that kind of feels, I don't know if some of you just thought this, I don't know where this thought came from, but I'll, uh, maybe it's just me and my dirty, dirty mind. But uh, <laughs> a part of me was just like, it feels kind of incestuous, mainly because, I mean, we're all brothers and sisters here, but like, we're all in, kind of in this like twin flame or like divine counterpart type energy, right? And so we've gone through these activations, we've been working on healing ourselves and be, and, 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 being a whole more complete version of ourselves than we were in the past 
And some of us, you know, that original person that activated us, that was that a catalyst, that twin flame catalyst, is no longer a part of our lives and probably doesn't even, you're, you're probably not even really, some of you are not really wanting that person to come back. Others of you don't really see that happening, but it doesn't matter because you know what it is that you want, okay? swords three of swords five of swords five of swords being in reverse this is over this is done okay the ten of swords is symbolizing the completion of this ten this horrible painful energy this heartbreak and this sabotage backstabbing you know lose lose energy of the five of swords but this is reversed all right we're and we're, we're not fighting this fight anymore we're not playing this game anymore we know what it is that we want, and we're willing to allow the universe to bring it to us in whatever way, shape, or form that's possible. That could very well be some. You're at least on a harmonic vibration with this person, and thus wish fulfillment right but if you stay open to it and you allow yourself to 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 to, man, to if you allow the universe to bring forward towards you that which would best serve you it literally could come from anywhere <laughs> that's pretty interesting that is pretty freaking interesting Okay, so just for shits and giggles, let's get some clarity on this one. But I'm gonna use a different deck for this. We're gonna get some clarity on this here. Page of, I'm sorry, Knight of Pentacles, High Priestess, Four of Pentacles, The Hanged Man, Eight of Cups. Crystal Visions, not Crystal Visions, I'm sorry. Um, Dreaming Way. Let's get some clarity. And mainly the reason why I want to use a different deck is because I want to see if there's any mirroring here. I'm not necessarily thinking that it is, this is two separate people. It could be, but it also feels like it's one person. It might be both of you. If we are talking about, you know, you coming together with someone or maybe like, uh, yeah, if you're coming together with someone. If this is business, then this is you taking the lead and you leading the pack. This would just be one person. But if we are talking about some sort of romantic connection, it could be both people, both individuals in this connection. Okay. Um, but I want to see if there are any common energies in between these, these two sets here. So I'm using a different deck to see if we get any repeat cards or mirroring. Yeah. One last shuffle. Let's just get some deeper clarity here. Knight of Pentacles, High Priestess, Four of Pentacles, the Hanged Man, and the Eight of Cups. So this is someone slowly but surely changing their perspective, reanalyzing what it is that they want out of life and how it may not have been so successful in the past, but there could be a new way that this could happen if like someone were to change their perspective, change their position, release some sort of conditioning, old elements, blah, 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 whatnot, whatever, outdated elements, whatnot, whatever. All right, let's see. Oh, Ten of Pentacles. Wow, with the Hermit. Overall energy of the High Priestess yet again. So, yeah. Someone, someone really has changed their perspective somehow. They've gone within, they figured out what has value to them. What is, tr what truly has value to you? What is truly going to make you happy? For somebody out there, you were following along with a certain, with a certain, I'm hearing societal, conditioning or requirement to find some sort of um, ultimate material fulfillment, physical fulfillment, but that doesn't work for you. In your 
process of ascension here with the hermit energy, you it's like you redefine what this ultimate fulfillment is for you or you've redefined ways that it could come to you, that you could manifest this, that you could realize this with the Ten of Pentacles. That's really awesome. <clears throat> That's really, really awesome. Okay, they want me to do one more here. Maybe you guys, are you guys asking for the one more? Okay, all right, we'll see. Let's see, what else can we get from this? Say one more and then nothing comes out. We'll, we'll, we'll go until something else comes out here. But what else can you tell us about this energy spirit? Four of Cups. Okay. It was... Yeah. The rejection from the past really helped push you into this. The Chariot. The Chariot. You could be dealing with a Cancerian. You could be dealing with a... Virgo. Doesn't have to be any of that though. Okay? Because what I'm what I'm picking up here is, and I know this card is here, we'll look at that in a second. But the the the, the rejection, just like I said in the beginning of the reading, the rejection from the past has helped push you into this. It helped push you into some sort of introspection. What the hell am I doing wrong here? Is what is the question that I'm getting from this energy. All right, what am I doing wrong? Six of Swords, beautiful. Overall, damn, y'all. The High Priestess is still at the bottom of the deck here. Someone really learned. Someone has really been listening to the universe. It really feels like, it really feels like someone has allowed themselves to stop letting their lives and their happiness be defined by three-dimensional, limited points of view. That's basically what this is. Someone has gone within, listened to the truth that the, and the wisdom that, and that the universe had to offer them, continually has to offer them, but up until this point has had to offer them, which has helped them change their position, that's helped them get into alignment with what they truly desire out of life. And now you're moving forward. I mean, you're really moving forward with the chariot and the six of swords. You're really moving forward, okay? This could be overseas travel. This could be across the country. It could be across the state. That has been a common theme lately with both with the collective here. But people are really starting to connect with each other through up through the law of attraction. Okay. Distance distance is not an obstacle when the universe. Is I'm in, I'm hearing distance has never been an obstacle. Wow, guys. Wow. All right. So with all of that said, let's, get, let's, let's close out this reading here. I want to get spirit's advice or spirit's take, spirit's final message, oracle guidance. I'm torn this morning because I'm hearing dragons, but then... I'm also being pulled toward the crystal mandala. We'll see. We'll see when I get there. But let's focus on Spirit's final message here for you in terms of all of this that's going on here. Seven of Swords in reverse. Did you see how that flipped out there? Seven of Swords in reverse is saying, let your feelings be known. Five of Swords, all right. Three of Wands. Overall energy. King of Pentacles. So what Spirit is saying here is, um, it's time to let feelings be known. It's time to... It's, um, I'm hearing, what I feel like this is saying here is do not be afraid of the opposition. Stop letting fear of opposition stop you because you are, in fact, on the right path. Three of Wands. 
whatever sort of um, whatever sort of uh, geez obstacles I want to say obs uh, um oh God, the word was right there, and then obstacles and opposition, there you go, that you might be facing or you feel like you might face, don't give in to it, okay? Because that if, you're giving, if you do that, then you're only sabotaging yourself. The more someone stays quiet about how they're feeling, what they truly feel, blah, 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 whatnot, whatever, the more it kind of sabotages the situation. You are, in fact, on the right path. You have the stability, the wherewithal, king of pentacles. You are well manifested. You have the stability and the wherewithal to do this, okay? That's, been, that's really interesting that Spirit's last message here is the seven of swords in reverse because the energy lately has been to like really keep things under wraps. But if there's a, I mean, what I'm getting, if there's a specific person in your vicinity maybe that you've been communicating with. Speak to them. I'm not saying, this is definitely not feeling like an energy of like, go out and tell the world, you know what I mean? But if there's someone specific, speak to them. Tell them what's going on, what you're feeling, blah, blah, blah. Let's get a little bit more. The Hierophant. Okay, that's Taurus energy. The um, the King of Pentacles was Taurus energy. Oh wow, yeah. Look, there's there it is again. The King of Pentacles and the Five of Wands, but with judgment. The King of Okay, we could be talking about some sort of marital status here. Someone wants to be married. Um, you have the official husband card with the King of Pentacles, you also have the Hierophant, which talks about marriage, the institution of marriage and commitment and whatnot. You have the Five of Wands here, so I do feel like there could be opposition in terms of traditional traditionalism. People um, that are caught up in traditional ways, maybe some people around you that know you to be a certain way and are not necessarily ready to allow you to go and do something new, change your point of view, change your perspective, go in a new direction, blah, blah, blah. But don't let that stop you. You have the Five of Wands and the Five of Swords here. But this is very much an against all odds energy also. If you know you want to be married, if you know you want to have a family, then it's time that you it's high time that you start taking steps to do so. You know what I mean? Okay. All right, let's move into our Oracle Guidance, and we're definitely All right, let's see what we get here for your Oracle Guidance. There's also with this seven of swords in reverse, this, may, this isn't necessarily just talking about saying something to someone. There's some sort of secrecy here. And it's mostly, it might also be um, in terms of revealing some sort of secret. It might be um, being truthful and honest with yourself. You know what I mean? And, and, and allowing something to see the light of day for your own well-being because the more you keep this because this seven of swords actually now that i'm really looking at it again it also could be a blockage unable or unwilling to let something out to speak some sort of truth to live some sort of reality that is a desire within you it's time for you to let that go because the more you hold on to that the more you keep that a secret even from yourself the more you don't express this the more you sabotage yourself, Five of Swords. Ultimately, if there is something that's desiring to come out, it is part of the path for you, Three of Wands. It's part of your development. 
you are king of pentacles you are well established enough well manifested enough to break free of some sort of convention all right guys all right let's get your oracle guidance here Ooh, card number 32 which does boil down to a five ascended master buddha and peridot wild compassion mm. okay we bring you the blessing of wild compassion what if a restriction now could prepare you to receive greater freedom in the not too distant future and to be able to appreciate, enjoy, and fully receive that freedom? What if growing pains now would strengthen you to be ready to receive a life-changing opportunity headed your way? What if rest and time to just be at this moment would help you build up your reserves of vital energy for a time in the future when you will be asked to step up, perhaps to lead, or use your energy in some way to support many? Wild compassion is at work in your life, and you can trust that it knows what you need and when, and will deliver it with unsurpassed grace. I'm going to read more of this. Wild compassion is what is active in your life when something is a hidden blessing. In some spiritual traditions, this is known as obscuring grace. It is something that has to be undesirable at first and yet in due course reveals itself to actually be something for which you are most grateful when the situation is happening however it will often seem absolutely impossible to the mind that you could ever feel gratitude for what is taking place yet if you allow yourself to engage in your life journey with an open and trusting heart you'll find that wild compassion will bamboozle your mind and dazzle your heart again and again with its unfailingly gracious and tender love for your soul i love that word bamboozle <laughs> okay as you take this journey you will come to realize that you are not another not just another blob of light having a life experience in this universe one amongst many not particularly known or loved or acknowledged in fact the universe loves and cares for you with such personal intimate detail that your every need is anticipated and responded to with care no matter how difficult things may seem at times you will if you keep your heart and mind open come to realize that you are always without fail being served by a loving divine intelligence when wild compassion strikes you are going to need to delve deep and tap into trust into curiosity and into your sense of humor you can know that only the divine can truly put your plans into absolute disarray if that is happening which is absolutely I'm sorry, let me say that again. You can know that only the divine can truly put your plans into absolute disarray. And if that is happening, which, is abs which it absolutely will from time to time, then there is a good, loving, and helpful reason for it. The best way to respond to wild compassion is to allow yourself to be wild too. That means not being afraid to let go of the script of your life, to think on your feet, or even better, to let your instincts move your feet and not to think so much at all, to let yourself intuitively respond to life as though you were in a dance together rather than in a boxing match. You don't have to duck and weave to avoid what life sends your way. You can play, engage, be curious, sometimes feel pain, but always understand that the pain because sometimes pain is an unavoidable part of life, is part of the healing the divine is sending your way. It is not out of cruelty. Sometimes the pain of letting go, I'm sorry, the, sometimes the pain of letting something go now saves you from the agony of having what is not meant for you, causing you far greater suffering over the long term. Wild compassion is not always painful. Often it is utterly joyful. It sweeps in and before your eyes, what, is what was considered an opportunity for a small gain becomes a trigger for a cascading flow of divine blessings into your life. Wild compassion provides whatever is needed for your deepest and most soul-satisfying success. It is neutral, it is wise, and it serves the higher, higher will of the universe. It cannot be controlled by the mind, nor is it often understood by the mind, except in hindsight upon occasion. 
It cannot be thwarted or blocked by human will. Yet, it is our choice whether or not to embrace and enjoy it, even if we find it mysterious, or resist and fear its workings in our lives. For those reasons, you can trust it completely. It is the hand of the divine sweeping in and uprooting what needs to be removed and planting what needs to be planted. It might be stark at times, but it will always be loving. And no matter what you believe at the time, eventually you will be grateful. And I just ended that on 4444. Beautiful. So there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning day and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye!